Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. This design is gonna be probably a fast idea. It's something I made in a party. Someone asked me for a hat with a minion on top. Yeah, and I think it was something like that. Or, or, or they asked for a minion hat. And I'm, okay, so when I go to events, that's a cool part when you kind of like accept challenge because that opens your mind to just play with all the techniques you know. And that can be fun too. Now, how to make it into a fast idea? So that's what it came out. Or I think now I'm thinking maybe the kids say, I want a minion. I say, okay, let's make a minion hat. I don't know. But the kids love it. And I think it's something easy I can share with all of you. <laughs> and I think it's gonna be cool. I know minions is already like a long time ago, but I found out that some things, you know, never end, you know, because still you know uh, like what when it was like on saturday so today is tuesday like three days ago four days ago a kid asked for a minion so let's see if that happened to you at least you have this chance this um what is option so look at the picture is there that's the design but that was an, at the moment then i was thinking how to make it better what about if for the base we use black so that's what I was thinking. So to kind of like play with the colors. So you can take two blacks and you're gonna blow it almost all the way. Just maybe leave like two the two fingers without inflating. Something like that. Yeah. Let's do that. And then the other side. Why always leave two fingers and inflate it? Because it's good idea for blacks, you know, or for balloons to if you squish them. So that way, um, I think they will last longer if it's not too tight you know especially with blacks you know so don't inflate it all the way to tight that's what i want kind of like explain so when you squish the air it's gonna look something like that and that's fine like this one too you squish them and it's gonna be something like that it's totally fine and then if to make things fast you can grab two balloons together twist it and you have already these two balloons from the nozzle and you you can um work this way faster you know then you can measure the kid's head or you can always have an idea what is approximately the kid's head so you can do this and from your elbow to kind of like the end of your hand it can kind of like be something and what other way you have for measuring you know a, a kid's or someone a regular head you know you can do this if you don't want to you know like bother the kid to do all this because remember that the end balloons can be a stretching. So if it's too tight, you can stretch it. So then it's gonna be a little bit longer. Okay? So you approximately you're gonna measure this. Okay? So it's like from your elbow all the way to this part of your hand. From your elbow all the way to this part of your hand. So don't add your fingers because it's gonna be too long. Okay? Then you can also make here like three finger bubble each, twist it at the same time, and pinch twist, so that's a double pinch twist. Okay, so then from here, you're just gonna grab each side, or both at the same time, make sure they are kind of like the same size, as, as close as possible, the same size, and then you're gonna end with another, you know, like, what is, bubbles like two finger bubbles and attach it to these two first finger bubble so you have this this is a basic way to make a hat or a helmet and from here you can make a lot of different designs lots of different designs but this is kind of the basic so you have something like this so from here i think when, when someone asks me for ah oh, what a crazy hat this is another way i do the crazy hat because you have them here connections to connect this part with the, this one and you can add in between a curly balloon so from that kind of like the idea it came out um then from here you can use yellow or blue let's go with blue let's see what happens blue so let's go with two blues okay so these ones are two blues i think are that's different quality yeah so I'm gonna make sure I have the same quality. So two balloons to 60 blue. I know, if it's for line twisting, you, will, you may think, so see, it's already taking too long, but this design, that, that technique is kind of easy. That's why 
So you inflate this like four finger long or three, four or three finger long. One finger bubble, another one finger bubble, pinch twist. Then you're gonna grab each side in the middle, pass it through around and make a loop. And then you're gonna position it this way in the center. And then you just measure here, like approximately six finger long and do the same. Pinch twist, another two finger bubble, pinch twist. And then you pass it around right there. Okay, so when you have that, you just need to pass this one more time all the way to here. Okay, and then the rest, if you don't like it, you can take it out. Now, from here, it's a lot of things you can add or take out, it's up to you, but um, I'm showing you how I made it kind of the first time. And remember, this design doesn't have to be exactly like this. You can add, you can change, you can make variations. It's up to you. So you have this. So far, this is what you have. And this is already a super cool way to make a hat. Now, from here, you can make this hat into anything, really, pretty much, depending on the printed balloon you have on top. You can even here attach a heart. You can attach here a balloon and here another balloon with faces and it can be two people together like hugging each other. It can be many things, okay? Um, but look, from here, if you want, you can add arms and it can be a person here and then the other side another person. A lot of choices and that's what I wanna share with you. This is a technique and it's gonna be the minion this time, but you don't have to make it into a minion. It can be anything, any other thing that you wanna touch heads or you know even anything you know coolly something to make something crazy this is a cool way this is a technique i guess right but it's just twisting okay so when you have that then what i i have lots of quick links yellows yellow quick links because i one of my designs that everybody loved that it's the bumblebee or the bee and it's a very cool way to make it with this also you can make a ducky or a little cute chick with this type of balloons. There's a quick link, but yellow, right? And that's cool because the thing is when you're in the bank, it's so many ways to make something. So easier will be if you have the guy with only one eyeball from the minions, the one with only one eyeball, but you can make it with two. And it, it all depends if you have time. Look, you can just blow the balloon. And this is the funny thing. If you wanna go realistic with the design, with the characters, the one that have two eyeballs, the Google goggles, two of these, it's the one that have only one hair. But there is another one that have only one eyeball, one goggle, and then they have hair here and then the other side. You can do it and make it with Sharpie, sure. But sometimes I think the Sharpie may take you a little bit longer. And if you can avoid Sharpie, Sharpie time, I think it's cool. So you can blow the balloon all the way. To make it as long as you can, like this, is gonna be great. Lose some air so it's tight, it's not that tight, but I think you can blow. This is a brand quadratix, in case you wonder. Okay, so then you from here you tie them, and this is one way I made it. And I was thinking how to make it better. You can always add a racing beam and attach it, and then add the eyeball and then attach, you know. But if sometimes that can be a little bit more complicated so let's make it simple you tie your balloon this way then you find a round balloon or a quick link white for the for the eyeball so um whatever you have more available and it doesn't have to be that big so you can just make it um quick link or or around and attach a racing beam whatever you have available because it's also depends on the moment so you have this around five inch round attach it a little racing racing beam so you're gonna become a, a quick link this is already too big because you have to also think it's gonna be too big yeah so let's make it as small as possible look because around is gonna be another balloon so let's make it small like this you're gonna tie there and then here you're gonna grab the racing beam tie this so you have something smaller like no more than three finger round and then uh, just grab a balloon scrap when you are in events usually all these you know um depending how you you have organizing your equipment it's easier for you to to grab your stuff you know like balloon scraps 
Uh, so you kind of have to find a way to organize your stuff that is easy to see for you where you have your scrap, where you have, you know, your different color balloons. So you have this. If you don't, if you already have a quick link, remember, it's going to be much easier. You avoid all this detail. Then if you have chrome, silver, great, because it's got extra plus, right? It's a silver. So it really looks like real silver. But you can also make it with black. I think, it, you know, any color you have available, black, if you have it in 160, I think it's even better. Um, but I'm going to use this one uh, that is the chrome. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to inflate it, like leaving like eight finger tail tied it and i'm gonna squish and stretch so that's gonna be a little bit more skinny like imagine it's a 160. squish and stretch so it's gonna be skinnier and then you want to make a one finger bubble another one finger bubble pinch twist both of them okay and then you're gonna kind of like have it attaching in one of the sides of this so you just pull pass this around okay so it's there and then you just go kind of like bend it and make another two pinch twist. You bend it, you measure the other side and make another two pinch twist. So soft and squishable. So you squish and stretch, it's soft and squishable. And then you again attach here the other side of the balloon white. And then again, soft and squishable and pass it all the way around. Okay. Okay, so when you have that, that's pretty much the eyeball. You can make another pinch twist in each side if you want. Sure, it's up to you. Okay, you can make another pinch twist if you want. But with the rest, you decide if you want to have it inflated all the way or you can lose the air. And this is what I did. So then it's all more like this. I think it's going to help the balloon to stay better. So when you have that, you just attach it where like here and where you kind of like imagine here is the head and then with the rest you just pull make a little pressure but also not too tight because you don't want to pop the yellow balloon and just leave it like that okay you can cut the excess of the the balloons you have with you but that's the idea and so you have this. You can accommodate things to make it look better. So it's a good idea. And this is the back. You can always accommodate it in a line. But that's how it looks the back. I'm okay with that. It can be in black. And this is the front. Now from here, you are going to attach it all the way down here. And then you have the here, how to connect it. And that's what you can use another balloon to 60 yellow. I mean blue, so that's what is the second balloon to 60 blue. Inflate it like seven finger tail approximately. You gonna just have to make a lot of little loops, like three finger loop. Like you can make three finger loop, like seven loops or five or six, you know, depending how you feel, because you just have to make a flower. Pretty much it's like a six or five or seven pair of flower. You just have to do that. And all these techniques, this is the cool part. Maybe you think, oh, Cecilia, it's taking too long, but we practice all these design, the techniques we're using, for example, are very simple. You were trying to avoid the most elaborated ones in some way. So you have this. You know that also, you, a lot of times, if you go up to like big events, you know you're gonna be busy, or you wanna surprise, you can always have pre-made things like this. This is a, a figure that you can add in a lot of designs. So you know it's gonna be useful for bracelet, headbands, wands, um, a lot of things, and also part of this hat. Or even on top, in any crazy hat, you can add this and it's cool. So you can, you can make it in different colors. And if you know what you're gonna do, like, oh, maybe this is gonna be cool to surprise people, you know in your party you're gonna make it, you can already have this pre-made. Sometimes it's cool some, if you wanna already practice something and you go to an event, you can, you know, uh, what is influence into the kids, you know, what you want to make. Even adults, you know, you can tell them, oh, let me make you something really cool. You already have it planned. I know a lot of balloon twists already have things planned, what they're going to make in each event. You can do that too. And it can be a good way to um, have things, you know, if already 
kind of pre-made no it's just pre-planned you already plan it <laughs> so then it's gonna be cool you know like uh, i think that's a, a, a good point you have it here and you just connect them with that quickly you know I, i'm sure you know you can always uh vary so that's a fun part you know like you can try why not bring something uh in pieces so then you connect it at the event that's another cool thing so you have here from here if you want you can attach here arms here with yellow and then black gloves if you want but you don't have to just here's something like hands with black loops it's up to you you don't have to but pretty much this is a it's a cool way i think to make a minion hat so i'm gonna wear it because um let me see i'm gonna go down so you can see so now this is a cool part you can always move this so then it can be more looking perfect for the picture time you see i'm moving a little bit this loops and it's like perfect for the picture time now you don't have to be a what is super super perfectionist so you can create this is a cool minion look it's one goggle and one one hair and you can paint it you know you can color it with, with black that's cool but also why not if you have time because it's all about you know how much time how you are talking with the kids if the kids you know sometimes bring ideas and they say oh, wait but let's put some more hair you can grab a balloon you can always spread it a couple times like this like just in half and then another half and then just tie it here okay and when you tie it you grab it like this look you are holding the yellow one and then these ones are perfect to tie it in half okay you tie it in half so then you have hair in both sides you can always cut this little piece in half with your scissors the or with your ring cutter or whatever anything you have to cut just bah, cut it and then you have some hair like this it's not really taking that much time only one balloon and you have that sharpie time let's go with sharpie time now because i think it's gonna look awesome you just need to make a black and then brown around so i'm gonna try to do it this way so some black in the center you know already with black what you're gonna do you're gonna also make a smiley face you can make a big smiley with some teeth if you have time all depends how much time do you have you see all depends how much time do you have so that's one thing you have to always remember then with a brown marker just pass it around here to make this so I think it's easier when I'm looking at so, so it's gonna be easy for you when you are looking at your design and you just color it and when you're doing that remember you can always talk with the kids you can you know ask kids questions they love to you know re reply to you look something like this if you still feel like that okay I still have in time color color more color the better um just teeth and that's pretty much all tell me in the comments what do you think about this design if you can make it don't forget you can follow me on instagram chat me add me as alpaca global and look at this cool way eyebrows why not more character just make an eyebrow why not just like that why not everything is possible you just have fun and if you're happy everybody else around you is going to totally enjoy because you are the entertainer so remember you can always make this move it and look at you know perfect for picture time because that's another cool important thing that we have to practice and learn because you're an entertainer if you want to do this as a business too it's a good idea to promote you know and um, your your art your design what you do so you it's a good idea if you can take a course or a, a class or practice photography it will be awesome because that's going to help you to show you know others thanks to the images pictures how fun it is to have a balloon twister how cool is a balloon twister making all these awesome balloons that if they take the wrong picture for example if the picture someone take it this way 
It's like, oh, and the kid is smiling, okay. But what is that? It's, you don't see it, the design. So make sure when you take a picture, you are also paying attention how the design looks right in front of the camera, smiling at the camera too, okay? Uh, this is the design of the day. Thank you so much, all of you, for watching the videos, for comments, for liking, for subscribing. And don't forget, don't forget that great news. Bling Bling Jam, it's happening in July. July, the days are there. The website, go check it out because if you can make it, that's going to be a great opportunity for you and me to meet in person and we can jam together. We can twist together. You can ask me any question and I will be happy to help with whatever I can, you know, like twisting balloons on trees. I'm going to be happy to help you. I know my alarm is, is ringing because I had to go, but I, I was thinking, why not to share something cool before I go and enjoy the rest of my life? <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the day um don't forget check it out the website blimblingjam.com it's gonna be an awesome super exciting it's gonna be in las vegas this july uh, july I, I forgot 17 18 19 20 21 something like that right and i think it's a really cool way to meet all the balloon twisters and this is for beginners for events all combined together and help each other because this is the cool part about balloon twisting it never ends you always are learning or at least practicing you know practicing and remembering the beginning because that's something cool when you start you know already making more advanced more advanced for what reason sometimes i do things to just kill my fingers or or just you know like show myself i can do it and that's it but there are things that you're going to be repeating and repeating because kids love it and these type of things you know big calling attention but you know that it's easy, you can make it. Flower petals, loops, pinch twists, long balloons. It's something that you can do. And this is what I wanted to share. It's possible and it's super cool. Okie dokie, like, comment, subscribe, bling bling jam. I'm gonna be there teaching our class. Oh, this is gonna be awesome too. I'm gonna be in the jam room all the time, yes. But also I'm gonna be teaching a class. About what? Well, that's a surprise. That's a cool part. You're gonna get there for sure. You're gonna learn things. And it's not just for me. There's amazing balloon twisters around the world that are gonna be there teaching you. So that's super excited because I'm gonna also be there learning. So, okie okay, dokie. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao. I had to go. <laughs>